The folks at Winnipeg's Creative Retirement Center say they find it funny how outsiders always seem so surprised about what's going on beyond their doors. It's where hundreds of seniors flock every week for lessons on a whole range of things. And we're not just talking about bridge and shuffleboard. Keep watching and you'll notice the gadgets yeah. keep changing, yeah. but the hands do not. This is a Kobo reader, e-book reader. On Walter Kremer's kitchen table, there's a laptop for special projects, a laptop for travel, a GPS, an iTouch, and a tablet. I play around with it. So this is just for fun? This is just for fun. Follow him upstairs and it's clear he takes his love of technology seriously. I have two computers. I've noticed you got another cell phone here and another, is this another GPS? This is an old one, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what? At 74, Walter is definitely a senior. I was, was always interested in technology. But don't you dare suggest the septuagenarian and former chemist can't keep up with the latest in electronics. Click on that and see what comes up. And while you're at it, you can delete Isabella Dryden and Jean Johnson from that category too. Do you think we can move on to the next lesson? I think so, yeah. You think so? <laughs> and if I ask you for the last day of class to do that, do you think you could do it? Uh, try. You'll try. <laughs> At Winnipeg's Creative Retirement Center, they're actually the instructors, 94 and 92. Sometimes when the uh, students come in for their first class, they look at and what's this white-haired lady doing in the classroom? By the time the uh, break comes on their first class, they're going out saying, this is great. I didn't know this. With a combined 18 decades of life experience and counting, this duo has witnessed a lot of rapid change. Sure, the computer craze has been, well, crazy, but consider what else they've seen. I think aircraft. Flying? Flying, yes. Yes. Flying's been a big one. Even a car. A yes, car? Because yes, when car. I came into the world, there weren't many cars around. And if that doesn't give them street cred, you should know their introductory computer class is full year after year. Just one of dozens of courses available for a population that claims computers keep them connected, keep them sharp, keep them young. And then that way you can invite friends and families to look at your photograph. Recent statistics show the number of seniors online jumped 55% in the last five years, and they're using it for medical research, reviews on consumer goods, even Facebook and Skype. There's a, a lot of uh, discussion around what do you call a senior? Are they elders? Are they older adults? Seniors? I like to call them recycled teenagers. <laughs> That's really what they are because, you know, they have the same interests. They have some time now where they're not worried so much about a career. If they've uh, accomplish a so-called successful retirement, which I think really means when you can afford to retire. And so the computer is just a window on the world. And they know they have to adapt to survive. Isabella started her teaching career in a one-room schoolhouse. Now? I'm so busy drawing up curriculum documents for the classes, and I have to, we have to make so many changes in them because you're no sooner finished teaching one version of the operating system when Microsoft says, thou shalt have another version. No time to slow down in retirement, and perhaps that's the point. See, I only use one hand. I don't... I can't use two hands. Arthritis keeps Walter from typing as fast as he wants, but you can bet his mind is racing. More than a dozen computer gadgets in his home, at least those are the ones we could see. You have a few computers in storage you're not telling me about? I said, they're sitting, they're not sitting in the front <laughs> porch. So you didn't even notice it. <laughs> After we turned the cameras off, I also discovered Walter was hiding a Palm Pilot in his pocket. When we come back, could this be your retirement plan? Forget about stocks, <laughs> forget about RSPs.